Some years ago, so we went in a jamaat to South America from Pakistan. It was, it was ladies also. And so one of, the, one of our members of the jamaat, he was actually in the, in the cloth market in Karachi. And he was, you know, pretty, pretty good business he had and he was, you know, pretty well off. And so before we left on the journey, so being in the cloth market, he's going to make himself some nice cloth to take with him, right? So he made new suits, I don't know, however many, you know, to take along on the journey, four months, you know, it's a long time, so he made a good amount, right? Okay, fine. So, you know, when we go in the jamaat, so usually what they, they tell you, you know, when, you, when you're flying somewhere, so you keep one change of clothes with you. Because you don't know, maybe you get separated from your bag, or you don't know what might happen. Okay. So, and so Khalid, his name is Khalid, by the way. Probably shouldn't even mention his name, but I will. So he was the only one who actually, you know, followed that instruction. I don't think any of the rest of us actually did that, but he did. So he kept one, you know. So we left from Pakistan. We went to the Caribbean, actually. We went to five different countries in the Caribbean. So when we get to, we got to Trinidad. So everybody's bags comes except Khalid's with all these new suits. <laughs> right? Oh, okay. So now what? Now what? I've got an extra one, you know. So actually... For four months, the bag never came. And so he had one, you know, cloth to wear, and he had one to wash, which was more than a lot of Sahaba had. Umar radiallahu ta'ala, who at one point, you know, he, he was late for Juma. Then he came and he said, yeah, I'm sorry, folks, but, you know, I have one cloth, I had one, you know, suit, and it was, I had to wash, I had to wait for it to dry. Amir al-Mu'mineen, the biggest empire, you know, the strongest and the most powerful empire probably the world has ever seen, really, if you think about it. Okay, so four months goes by and our brother Khalid, he washes one, wears one. And then so by the end of this four months, he says, you know what? That's all I needed. That's all I needed. So why do I need this big bag, this big suitcase? And you know what? When he got back to Karachi, there his bag was sitting there. All right, learn your lesson, take your, take your stuff, you know, go ahead, pass. You know? So, subhanAllah. I remember, you know, when I, soon after I got married, you know, back in the early 70s, so, so I, I bought this sewing machine for my wife. And, uh, you know, in the old days, sewing machines were pretty heavy. So I was carrying it, and then, uh, so she's looking at it. So, oh, you know what? How are we going to carry this on the sirat, you know? This is going to be difficult, you know? We really don't need this kind of stuff, you know? So if we have yaqeen, you know, we say, so that's the lesson. We don't need all these clothes. We don't need all these houses. We don't need all of this stuff, you know? We need, we're travelers. You're travelers, so act like a traveler. You know, you get down at the, at the, at the you know, the, the station there on the highway. Oh, let's build a, you know, let's build a, nice house here, let's plant a garden. You're just here for five minutes, man. You're, you're, you're going, you know? But this is, we're just here for a few moments. 50,000 years, Yom al qiyamah so what is this 100 years life? It's like two and a half minutes. You're just here for a moment and you're, we're gone. You know, we don't need to get carried away with all of this stuff. 